Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. In this video, we'll see an application of the osmolation of alkenes. The work in this video was published in the journal Organic Letters and was performed by the group of Professor Scott Vergnoski at the University of California, Irvine. The citation is on the following slides as well as in the video description. On the top of the screen is an alkene osmolation, the syn dihydroxylation of an alkene with osmium tetroxide. I've included the reaction intermediate with its distinctive osmium containing ring called an osmate ester. This unstable intermediate forms and quickly reacts with water to give the diol product. Osmolations have been thoroughly studied. An interesting observation by Professor Tim Donahue's group at the University of Oxford is shown at the bottom of the screen. If the reaction is performed without water and with an amine called TMEDA, which stands for tetramethylethylene diamine, the osmate ester can be isolated as a stable crystalline solid. The Rignoski group recognized that this stable intermediate could be a valuable general tool for chemists. Let's see how. Plants, animals, and fungi are common sources for the discovery of interesting molecules. Here is a tree, and let's say we found a new molecule from this tree. Determining the skeletal structure of a molecule is often possible with techniques like NMR or nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. The particular structure we've shown is called verbenone. Verbenone is a natural product found in many plants. Verbenone has two stereoisomers, two enantiomers, both shown to the far right. Only one is found in plants. Which one? That question, the stereochemistry of the molecule, is very difficult. The most powerful method for determining structure, including stereochemistry, is X-ray crystallography. In X-ray crystallography, X-rays are passed through a crystalline sample and diffracted or scattered by the electron density in the molecule. The pattern of X-ray scattering can be interpreted mathematically to generate a three-dimensional model of the, of the structure. If you have a 3D model, then you have the molecule's full structure, including stereochemical assignments. X-ray crystallography works best on molecules that are one, crystalline solids, and two, have at least one atom from the third row or lower on the periodic table. Heavier elements with large electron clouds give better X-ray scattering. In other words, most natural products like verbenone are difficult to analyze by X-ray crystallography. They don't have a heavy atom. Here's where the osmolation chemistry is valuable. Osmate esters tend to be crystalline solids, perfect, and the osmate ester includes an osmium atom, a sixth row element, also perfect. So here again is verbenone on the left, which we isolated from a tree. If we perform the osmolation on the alkene with TMEDA and no water, we would isolate this particular crystalline osmate ester. X-ray crystallography of this osmate ester would allow full stereochemical assignment of the structure. Look to the right of the screen. Which is the natural enantiomer of verbenone? It must be the structure on the right, not the left. In conclusion, the Rignoski group has adapted a common synthetic reaction, the syn dihydroxylation, into a general and practical method for assigning the stereochemistry of molecules that contain alkenes. If you want to learn more about this chemistry, then check out the reference on this slide or in the video description. Please subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Take care.